All right, guys, wanted to put together a quick little email to kind of explain what exactly is happening in the market. As you know, coronavirus is impacting a lot of things, but also crude oil is down significantly, so it's causing a big economic global slowdown, if you will, and in turn is having effect on the credit markets. So as you've heard, you know, the Fed has stepped in, provide a trillion dollars of liquidity back in the market. Well, what exactly does that mean? I put it together in my email, but I know emails get lengthy, emails get wordy, and emails definitely get boring, right? So here in a nutshell is what, hap is, is what is happening. And just full disclosure, I am not a financial advisor, nor are these opinions of my company network funding. These are solely the opinions of me and my interpretation of what's happening in the market. So obviously rates, we saw a three little three week period of depressed rates where we had a, a bunch of refinance and purchase volume come in because you have savvy buyers out there that take advantage of these things. Well, it flooded the market. It flooded the market not only, not only on the mortgage company side, but on the bank side as well. So what happens is as mortgage companies and banks start putting together all these loans and packaging them for to sell, they're selling them into the mortgage backed security market. But if investors in that particular market are not willing to buy a low yielding product, which a low yield is a basically a lower interest rate product, they're not gonna buy them. And so it backs up the system to where the banks can no longer sell, the banks and mortgage companies can no longer sell these loans into the mortgage backed security market. So what has to happen? Either one, the government has to step in, which they did, and two, the banks have to start increasing their rates so that when they package these things, they can sell them at a higher yield to what investors want. So that right there is causing a ton of volatility in the market right now. We're seeing, you know, um, almost a full point swing up and down where I'm quoting people in the morning, they're in the mid to high threes. And then afternoon, that same file is, is closer to 5%, which is crazy. Uh, also other banks, uh, well, mortgage companies, I should say, are now not locking in any more interest rates. Well, what does that mean? It's because they can't offload those new loans any, uh, as fast as they typically could, so they have to halt their production and slowly start selling these loans off so that they can take on new loans coming in. It's a, it's a uh, domino effect for sure. It's having a big effect on the market, so please be sure to educate your buyers because if buyers are, are you know, they, they only hear what they wanna hear in the news on day one, but then you fast forward day five, day six, day seven, and they still think, oh, rates are so low, and they are low. They're just not historically low like they were. We had a little three week time span from like uh, late February to like March 14th um, or 12th, if you will, whatever that Friday was um, of really low rates. So everyone took advantage of it, but you were not seeing those. And so if you have clients that applied during that time frame, you know, and they're now they're getting refreshes on their rates, well, they're gonna have some sticker shock. So just be aware, wanted to educate all my people out there. Uh, any questions, give me a ring, shoot me an email, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. You know where to find me and uh, go out there and hopefully uh, get some business done. Take care.